I'm going to go over the word part sentences for this week, but before I do that, I keep forgetting to show this to you in class when I'm there, so I thought I would do it here. So what I like to do over the weekends is kind of look around my world and see where do I see Greek mythology illusions, um, and I expanded it this time because I noticed I was seeing a lot of our word part words. And so my first example, sitting in my favorite spot, McDonald's line, getting my large Coke, I saw the sign that said, watch for pedestrians, um, a one place that we're going to see ped in your world. Now, biped is not one that I see very often, so I was kind of surprised. I like to follow Mike Rowe on Instagram, and people always write into him. And one of them said, I know that my favorite famous biped is somewhere in the heartland. And she was referring to Mike Rowe because that's what he does. He goes around and he travels to different places. Um, so I thought that was an interesting way to describe him. And then I shared my owl crate with you, but I had a, um, an, a Greek allusion to Nemesis in my owl crate box, which I thought was funny. And this was when I was watching the Office reruns. So here, Dwight makes a reference to monotheism, to the idea of one, re worshiping one religion. Um, and we were talking about that when we talked about Greek mythology as one of our vocab words. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I will keep track of those. And these are not screenshots. These are actual things that I see daily around me. And I like to do this throughout the week um, and present it to you the following week. So I'll try to keep remembering to do that. So now on to your vocab word. So your first word with me is spectacle, and these next two words are going to sound very similar. So spectacle is a noun. Notice there's no S, a spectacle. The root in there, of course, is spect, which means look or see. And then our suffix A-C-L-E um, is means or a device. A means is like a way of getting something done, the means to an end, how you achieve something through maybe a device. So if I was going to put this together for a guess of a definition, I want look or see and means or device in there together. Um, so I would say maybe a device that helps you look or a device that helps you see. The actual definition is something, a scene, displayed for the public to see. So in this case, we're not talking about glasses where you might think of spectacles, which will be actually our next word. A spectacle is a big scene displayed for the public to see. So when I think about like kids in line at Walmart or Target, we were talking about having a tantrum, trying to get their way. They're doing that on purpose. They know that if they make a big production, a big spectacle in public, their parents will be embarrassed and probably buy them what they want. So a spectacle um, is something that's purposely done for the public to see, a big scene thrown. Some related words I have were tentacle, barnacle, Manacles. I like for you to find related words that connect to previous word parts that we've done, if you can. Uh, it's just a good way to reinforce um, our knowledge of them. Because remember, you're going to be tested on all of our words progressively as the year goes on. So we don't want to forget about those man and ped words. All right, I want you to pause the screencast and go ahead and write your sentence. Make sure it has a capital, a period, that you use the word correctly, you spelled it correctly. Um, and then you can continue on. Our next word is spectacles, plural, and that's a noun as well. And this is going to have a very different meaning from spectacle that we just talked about. So spectacles, same root, so we're still looking at spect, which means look or see. And ACLE, which still means means or device, I'm wondering if now my guess of a definition might work a little bit better. A device that's meant to look or see something. Hmm. So, eyeglasses. Glasses that help someone see better. So when I think of glasses as a device that helps someone see better, I guess that my prediction was pretty close. 
Spectacles, I think, is probably a word that was used maybe, I don't know, older term that might be used now. You don't hear people saying spectacles very often, maybe of an older generation, but that's what they are. And there's a picture of them. So, some related words, same ones, tentacles, barnacles, manacles, you can put whatever cold words you, in, you want in there. And then go ahead and write a sentence. Make sure that you're putting the S at the end of this, and make sure that whatever put, sentence you put in there, you could substitute the word eyeglasses in there. Um, that will help. All right, you're going to go on to the next task in your task list.